and strike with pace. Don't allow the jungle to be, you know, easily farmed up. Contest every mm -hmm. stack. Cheshire Cat is dead. Yes. If yeah. he does not play very far back. No one. See him aggressively running in, taking away well, the bounty run away from the Void Spirit. He's going to so have this go. solo killer. He got him. He has. Yeah, mate, stepping a little too close. And with the Maledict having the extra point, and there's no chance. Let's see if Yamich's return can, can make this lane a little better for Cheshire Cat. And again, oh, awkward. Or Oop. It's time they've got they've got the this setup. That's all they need, just a cast. Buy time for the dream to come in, and this bottom lane looking better and better. So you know, talking about that Phoenix pick, also that they went for last pick, it isn't a jug. I mean, Sine they could kill Cheshire Cat here. They've got Suneko oh set up. Dream's actually going to TP over. I mean, he's dead. He's dead. I mean, you see, yeah, yeah. Dream, who's even maybe seen if he could get it without committing the blade fury, will come in, of course, to. To make sure it's guaranteed kill. No one is seeing a little bit of weakness from the Sven when he has the other Titan with two oh, points of aura. And Stratcho will be out of turn with the stun. He's into the trees. He's trying to hide. Ooh, oh, nice. A little bit of a dupe, but they've got another remnant to chase him down. They'll have him here. One more slight in a second or a change. That'll do it. They catch Stratcho. The move is a success there from no one. As Yamich. Oh, he's, he's, he's absolutely dead. Just the one hit from the DD. That's Easy. all that's needed. As Can he deny himself? No, he's not even going to no. try. As Yamich goes down, Seneko should fall for this as Relbal. He's got the remnant grab. So Relbal at least able to find themselves there as a team their first Ooh. kill this game. But top lane, the action continues. No one afterlife and immersion. They're in onto Panther Man. Six to one here as uh, ASM Gambit. Elder Titan he's two. here they again. Seneko TP's he's ready to go for another round. He's got to hold the stun on Seneko. Yeah. Just wait till he, you know, just wait for the TP. And there we he's go. Gonna, I mean, he's, he's very, Seneko. very dead. With the Omni Slash, there's no chance of getting out of this top lane. They try for afterlife. They don't quite have enough. Yeah, and Duracho, he's going to have to jungle quite a bit here. So it's, I feel like a lot of this uh, this early game is going to be up to Rebel. His rotation, so how much he's going to be able to make I mean, with the support Has he got the kill here on his own dream? If he gets a few crits, I mean, there's one. He only needed he's the one. It. He's just getting solo kills on him. Meanwhile, in the mid, no one's diving in onto Yamich. Yamich has got a dive to get away. Top lane, they'll try and turn on towards Afterlife. Afterlife It's going to duke through the trees. Probably just needs one more ability to throw out. He's starting to salve up, though, Afterlife. Remnant's out. Is it the quite going to catch him? As he's going to continue to make Rebel and, and, and Pantherman work for this. He's into a nice little hiding space, oh, but the creep. creep gives up his oh, no. position. The creep will still find him. Cold Feet does kick in. And they will take him down, but definitely making them work for their right timing as well to pick up the remainder of the neutral items that they were waiting and to wait. drop. Cheshire Cat! Another gift. Oh, he's dead again. Oh, he is. He's trying to run, but you can't run from that. There's Omni slashes out, and Cheshire Cat. Just rushing Ring of Health, I think, actually hurt, rather than going for boots to be able to, like, run oh, away. Seneko! Seneko 6! I mean, he's got it. It's an easy kill. Oh Seneko 5 1 and 1. They're going to make the jump on him. Can Seneko get out of this? It doesn't look like he can. So Rebel able to at least take something in return, but Seneko just causing so much havoc. Dude, Witch Doctor. Yeah, I'm glad I feel how he steps up there. No. Yeah, I'm loving it. And right now, it really feels like the game is all on Rebel's shoulders for Windstrike. He has to make so much happen as Void Spirit. And he is doing a decent job, 3-0. I've got the chains, but I'm not quite able to get in past the tower on him. Oh, hit. Yemich tries to snipe the healing ward. Can't even get it with the dive, so this tower might just go down. Oh, Panther Man. Oh, he's dead. This tower indeed cannot be defended. 11 minutes in. SM Gambit keeping that pressure. They dream out of that. In fact, straight over towards mid with the found Duraccio. Duraccio. He's going to try and run, but the cask is out. They close the gap. Duraccio gets taken down. Another kick. Kill anybody he finds. Oh, 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 there's no dive. Dive's on cooldown. He might be able to force the egg. He will. Yeah. Now we have it. Yeah, Mitch. Having to pop the X, and Aiko says, no all way. right, goodbye. No way. Okay, tips an Aiko right now. <laughs> oh, Pantomime. Oh, he's, well, that's a free kill there for Dream. Oh, he slashed down on the A. Yeah, this this game's turning into a bit of a mess. Wind strike. Oh. Might be able to find something here. Yeah, get Immersion. They have outnumbered them. They've got the egg out. Immersion off to the side, but he goes down. Dream, he's just going to look to TP out with the Ranger of this Blade Fury. Is he able to make it away? He's he not. isn't. That was a that was a long TP Where right. He Where he was not going back to base, I can certainly tell you no. that. He was like they don't need to be super forcing anything. They just have to, you know, not feed inside the fights. I'm gonna get the jump on Seneko. 
See if they can find anything more from this. Dream and no one are ready to go from the high ground. They're going to move it on to Cheshire Cat. Drop the Omni Slash. The bounces, though, not really working in Dream's favor. Cheshire Cat's still getting low. Low enough for no one to finish him Draccio. off the side of the fifth. Draccio taking pretty much a full death ward to the face there as he'll get a kill on Suneko. But he'll go down in return for that. No one. Nice dodge of the Supernova nice Stone with the Remnant. He's going to look to use this to continue to close the gap onto Yamage. See if we can catch him here with the chains. Yamich through the trees. There he can. No one's able to get the catch with the chains in the but stun. No but they turn. They grab no one. No one's going to die for his efforts. As they do at least pick up Yamich as well at the end of it all. SM Gambit. So getting that big kill, getting the Sven. Still getting to clean up. But losing against the Nico. trying to catch here with the Stampede. There was the Nico. They're in onto him, but the heels are coming out. Mercer's in with the tether. He's able to take him out to safety. Seneko's going to be fine. Dream looking for his target. He's going to come in with the Omni Slash onto the two cores. Cheshire Cat gets oh, taken down. A perfect Omni Slash there, really, to get maximum damage out onto both of them. As out to the side, Jamich rooted in place here. He's not even going to get any sort of chance even to get the egg off. They just cut him apart there. They're going to scan. They're aware of the positioning. Dream's just running in, trying to break the smoke, and he's going to. And now it's, you know, what, what did Windstrike do? They're still going to try and make the jump route. They don't have to He's in onto the ET, but Afterlife's going to be fine. Immersion comes in with the tether. Dracho trying to commit on towards the ET. Afterlife is being focused down. Can Dracho actually finish off the kill, though? Afterlife's just going to continue to kite up this Sven. Supernova's out. They'll bring him down, but did take pretty much the full duration there at the BKB. As now is going to be held in position. Seneco just right-clicking into him. Dream's ready to back them up with a healing ward. Now Duracho without any BKB to rely on. He's a little bit vulnerable. Seneco's able to cut him out with the invis. Duracho goes down. As they just... They... Breaking it. It's, it's been relevant in all these fights, too. Duracho. Trying to, they're trying to force BKBs. Oh, and they, yeah, it's going to come out. They will turn this time. They will manage to kill out Seneco. Now they're going to look to try and chase for the bigger kills. Look towards no one. No one. Watch the slide for this, and now Afterlife's trying to start charging into them. I mean, that's the Stampede. Got strength used. They don't want to find more out of this wind strike. Yeah, wind strike in. He's up to the high ground. Does have the Supernova to rely on. So they're able to force him to use it. It will come out. Immersion's able to still get the mech off. And he needs to get away from the Supernova. He's not going to be able to do so. Yamich dream. will burn him down. Can they get more for this? They get the pull on the junk. They get they the catch him. with the Remnant. That's going to be Dream going down. See if they can catch Afterlife and no one. The last two left alive here on ASM Gambit. The chase continues. Draccio, he's got the stun on no one. Has that no one gone? Afterlife, he's having a TP out. And well, he'll only just make it away. But Windstrike turning it around here, taking down four. Oh, so smoke directly to them. Seneko. Oh. Windstrike. Oh, Dream. He's got to be quick with the reaction. He is. Immediate Blade Fury jumps away, but Dracho's ready to jump in, chasing with a Blink Dagger. A Dream, he, he gets stopped. caught by the Hoof Stomp. They're going to be able to take him down. That's the Juggernaut gone. The rest of Gambit, and they've got to run. There's no fight to be had with Dream getting taken out at the start of it all. And Windstrike, no, the they're going to continue chasing. to chase. Cheshire Cat, he's in. They've got the Vision here, stun out onto Immersion. They've got the pullback as well with the Remnant. Immersion gets taken down. Out of he's punching back Whoa, pretty oh hard. As he is able to take down Dracho. Now he's going to go over towards Yamich. Yamich also to fall as Afterlife managing to recover what was it about to be another terrible fight. He's going to TP out to his team immediately. Yeah, but, I mean, they have shows up. They've got a fight around here. And I'll have the Stampede coming out. They're going to commit with the Omni Slash straight on to Cheshire Cat. Cheshire Cat, oh, he's able to... Oh, he will still go down as the Maelstrom prop. And they've found Immersion, though, in return. And with the Supernova out, SM Gambit, they've got to back off Afterlife. He's chilling on the cliff right now. Be ready to come down with the spider in. legs. Going to turn straight over towards the AA. But this time, Afterlife's not winning this fight. As Afterlife gets taken out by the Sven. But Duracho. Duracho, he needs help. No one's committing in on him. Duracho trying to hold his ground and punch back. But Duracho will fall. Another buyback coming out from him. As he's ready to return straight into the fight. Dream will go down. Snake goes looking for the TP out. Will make it away in the pit. And no one... He's got a remnant available. Stun is chasing. Further buybacks here coming out from uh, some gambit. This time around, it's afterlife. Time's now just spin for the damage rather than straight right clicking. So I think he would want to just get the shard because I think I've seen him do the spin like three, four times now when he could just right click the heroes. Stomp. They're actually going to smoke yeah, out. Just... Rebel's kind of ready for this, scouting out things. The Remnant grab onto Dream. Cask out. Immediately loads us straight back to Seneco. Can SM Gambit yeah, get the catch on them. Here. They're going to go in. A deep Remnant here from no one. 
Maledict out just on to, to the Zenzors. Dracho, he's ready to come in onto the Witch Doctors. Witch Doctor, can he take it down low? But Afterlife's punching back Dracho. too hard. Again, Afterlife just runs him down with Dream. Dracho, he's out of the game for 100 seconds. No buyback now. Stun out. Onto the Sensor, ASM Gambit, they're ready to set up for another core. The Slash is back up. As Dream takes down Cheshire Cat, that's two cores out, and with no buyback, of course, available anymore on Duraccio. This will be a free Rose Champ for ASM Gambit to step back into. Duraccio, I feel like players are just, they're playing a little bit too aggressive and not not understand like how much damage is going to come. He didn't click Warcry, so he doesn't have 25 bonus armor, and he pops Mask of Madness. He's at four armor. Eat wait, wait. and yeah, Jug just eat him. Did he? Have, was it on corner? No, he just he God strength BKB blow hard because yeah. it's a it's a four armor Sven effectively when he pops mask. Bit of a blunder as he is dead for thirty more seconds. Gambit feeling a big power spike here. They also got given the free shard, of course, to the Jug. Got this Aegis. He's very happy now. Let's see. I'm gonna lose some serious damage. On the high ground here, these racks getting taken out by Dream. 10 seconds until Duracho's back in. It's not going to be soon enough to defend mid. Spirit just keeps scouting everybody. Look at its movement speed too. He's been using spider legs to amp it up, so it's got hasted move speed spirit, so he gets it on all five every time. Look at that damage, yummy. <laughs> so much. Afterlife having a, a great time in these fights. Wild though, we were talking about how Rebels game has to be like perfect for them to have a chance. He's 10-0 on 10. He's part of 20 out of 21 kills with zero deaths on Void Spirit. <laughs> it's like, he is doing an excellent job on Void Spirit. There we go. We have the high ground defense here. Stop. Uh, they're gonna have to do something. I'm losing the tier three is supernova coming out Jacho, he's watching from the side looking for a chance to jump in and there it is he's able to get in onto dream and merge into the hills and it's enough to allow dreams to get the swift slash and the omni slash out as dreams back in with the combo but the hoofstone will catch him as he comes out of the slash Dracho turns to bring him down once so that's no dream gone there. the first time Dracho having to run all the way back to base though a little too low to fight oh. back oh afterlife oh just comes God. in two shots the aa this panther man will fall sm gambit now having the space to take this Bottom racks, and with a man down, no way eight. There's not a fight to be had here by the looks of it. Windstrike not able to push ASM Gambit back. No, God Strength is over too, so they don't even have the damage to be able to attempt to fight back there. As some big items now picked up, a Shiva's for the Ember. Well, again, there is no Egg and no God Strength still for 20 seconds. If they find this fight, Windstrike is going to get demolished. Rebel? Oh, he's away, no one. He's gonna find the, the rest of the team here. Dream's gonna be brought in by Mersh, and they'll look towards Duracho, but Duracho, the bash. Oh, it's uh, there. there it is. That's it, they're in, and Duracho's got no escape now. And now, uh, he's dead again for 90 seconds. No buyback on Duracho. They'll, they'll be able to push down another lane. As his buyback, not only short money, but it is still cool down for a minute. Rebel. He's gonna try and burst immersion, and with the dagger, we'll be able to do so. So Mercy gets brought down. Dream and no one will probably take some kills in return though for this. As Cheshire Cat falls, Death Ward down onto Panzer Man. That's two more dead on Windstrike. SM Gambit, they can continue to just push in now. There's a buyback available on Cheshire Cat. But now AA down as well as the Swam for a minute with neither is, having a way to get back into the game. Is Rebel going to lose the game with zero deaths on Void Spirit? Like he's 10 0 and 11. Like he's just not dying in any of these fights anyway, but he's not able to push them away from him or do enough for his team because of these few slip ups from the Sven. He's played like, he actually has played like the perfect void. I mean, that's, yeah. Do we ever see 21 really? of 22 kills like... with zero deaths? Yeah. He's part of all of their kills besides one. <laughs> it's a remarkable and, and he's game about to probably lose. Yeah, that, that feels kind of bad. I think that's one of the games where the mid laner you could probably, you're probably justified to sort of say team. 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 <laughs> dream. Uh, dream. Oh, it's a good jump. Have they got the burst? They do. They do. That's Dream gone. Ice Bar's coming in as well onto the back lines. It's SM Gambit. They've got to back off. See if Rebel can catch anything more. He's going to look over towards Afterlife. Afterlife force back in. He's ready to go with the BKB. He tries to fight. Going to go for the TP out after the Magic Community gets brought back in from the Axe. Rebel can still do a lot of work. He's got, yeah, 25. He's got this dag and he's got all this spell amp. Rebel, he's got the setup on Seneco. Straight over he goes. He's found the witch chucks up with the burst of the dag on Seneco falls. Do you see how much assassinate the support? Like an AA blast and the supports are dead every single time from Rebel. Rebel, astral step. He scouted this time. And he's out of steps. 
He's got to simulate in a second. But the they're going to get the stun straight on the way down. So he the does that first the time he dies here. A lot of money for Dream, of course. Windstrike, the scan actually catches Windstrike on the high ground. Dream's going to run into this. He's got the Blade Fury in time. Turns his attention over back. towards Cheshire Cat. No one coming in from the side. Rebels ready to try and turn things around though. Straight into the river, they jump, looking towards Afterlife. Afterlife, Afterlife is going to get burst down there by the Dagon. Rebel gets the kill. Over towards Dream, setups here with the Yules into the Supernova. Follow up, who stomp? Cheshire Cat's able to get the jump. Dream's dead for sure. Him again. As Dream goes down, they've got a run SM Gambit, but they're not going to be able to do so. Immersion tethers over towards no one. Jump forward from the, the spell. Still going to continue chasing though, Seneco. Going to try and slow them down with the cask. And the Maledict, Cheshire Cat's in. They've found Seneco. Seneco trying to run, but the dust is out. Seneco's going to get chased down by the stun. He'll fall over to the side. They've got the oh set up. The remnant controls there onto no one. No one's still with the BKB available. With the remnant away, he'll jump up to the safety of the high ground. They, are they going to be able to chase? They won't. They'll, they'll, they'll hold back for now here. But Rose 10. These deaths are unbelievably costly. They're actually going to relocate to the base to try to force some reaction here. Try to get anything from the side of Winchester because yeah Roche is back up in two seconds and top immersion and immersion? no one he's dead oh and now my. no one is gonna die too oh 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 oh, oh. 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 oh that ice blast as well oh that oh was close God. Okay. oh my yeah, he actually anymore no definitely not yeah Mitch also having the double no. egg because they gave him the refresher shard no one they have a ward on top of what him they... what's it doing I mean, they hit there, he's pushing the high ground now. Very tough to actually dodge, and yeah. Duracho. Okay, well, there's a lot of damage here with the death the board. Yeah, he's got to be a little careful. And the Omni onto the side. And Yamich has still got the supernova. Dream's going to try and come in. Oh, it's good bash to stop the dive, so they will manage to kill off Yamich. Duracho's too low to fight, too. The Maledict put him down to... Uh, even when they have such a great start, they they just sort of falter in the later stages of the game. As, uh, you know, yeah, Wind I don't know if they, like... Yeah. Let their foot off the like, pedal or something like that. Now, Afterlife also just getting caught. Rebel just assassinating him. And they just bought out on the ET. He just bought a Blink Dagger. So, like, Play very careful. He has a 7,000 gold now on Void Spirit, too. Oh, Dracho. Dracho. Uh, we'll be forced Mounted to be KB. No one. He's going he's to try Jones. and chase. He's going to try and chase. Think of the no only stun. Then remove the remnant. No one. He's able to get that Eon disc assembled, as you said. Assembles it in time. So he's going to be backed up now by a merchant. They're going to continue to try and keep this fight going, but they're diving in with the supernova. As the, they can't take down his leg. They've got to get back for this. No one's had to buy it back. Trace your cats in with the stun. They'll take him out with the tether. Relocate saves him. In. But he's, he's back in the front lines in a second. X ready to go. Dream's dead. Immersion as well. Even with the buyback there for no one, they can't turn it. As uh, they're, they're, what, the refresher shard coming in big there for Yamich, getting two. All five. The spirit hit every single one. They should be 100% aware of this on the side of Gambit. I'm an afterlife. Afterlife. Yeah, it's going to be fine. As the spirit comes back in immersion, though, he's going to get jumped. He has to tether over towards Dream. Going to have to chase theirs. They'll look to move in with a supernova immersion. Will manage to relocate out in time. Dream's going to get left behind, though, here. Have they got the stun? They do. They just simulate stuns in. They've got enough chain control, they don't, but they've got the Yours. Lotus out. Swiss Slash, but he's now got the Omni Slash, good to go. Over he goes, over towards the center. Cheshire Cat getting lower here, but Dream falls. He's out of the game. Dracho now turns his attention over towards Afterlife. Afterlife, he's trying to run. He's into the trees with Cheshire Cat and Dracho trying to chase him down. The, the paralyzing cast causing issues, though. As no one's bought time to dump back in. Straight over towards Dracho. Dracho does go down. So will Cheshire Cat here. They're going to oh be God. able to get the cleanup. This time round, ASM Gambit will find that team fight. And they turn up for, for the defense here. We'll, we'll see how much they want to try and push it. Last set of racks it, as they could be eyeing up the Mega Creeps now, ASM Gambit. This is such a wild, such a wild game. I know they're yeah, that's gonna easily going to be able to find these racks here with the damage. There's going to be a buyback coming out. Actually, buyback. that, that buyback is going to spook them enough to stop pushing for the Megas. The Dracho is ready to chase with the help of Rebel. Rebel's in with the Simulate. No, he's actually going to back off. Doesn't want to continue to commit into the four of them. As ASM Gambit, they'll be happy with that. Forcing out a buyback and playing it safe. Not sticking around longer than they need to. Roshan is up, of course, so safe objectives available for them to try for. They should scout it. One of them should have something in there. They're going to have the Jug respawning shortly. They're still continuing to force the issue top, but I feel like one of them should go back for him. 
And he's got a cheese also for the secondary buildup. This Minotaur horn we've seen too a couple times saving his yeah. saving his life. I mean, you know, they're, they're, they're 22k up now. They've just killed Brosh. They should have everything required to close the game. I say that though, Afterlife's Afterlife. in trouble. He goes down. Bag. They're over towards Immersion. The egg will get killed off. Immersion's still alive for now. It's a long death ward though coming out from Snake. So Cheshire Cat's trying to find him. Dracho's getting on the slash. He's gonna die. A Dracho's down. So Javage. Cheshire Cat also in trouble. He can't run. Three dead. No buyback. Make that four. ASM Gambit. They'll finally be able to close it up here as they move on to the tier fours. GG is called. I certainly, it took a lot of effort from them here. Windstrike able to really give them some excellent fight right up until this 56 minute mark. But at the end of it all, they do finally close it up, Bob. That was, that had to have been stressful for ASM Gambit. I'll be totally honest with you. They did some really weird plays where they're getting caught solo a couple times. They actually brought Windstrike back in the game entirely because of that. Rebel, definitely have to give him a humongous shout out though. <laughs> this voice spirit 16, performance. And he loses. Yeah, I mean, that's somehow feel he bad. loses. Yeah. Hanging yeah. around the big cooldowns of like the Sven Ultimate, and that's about mm -hmm. it. But now with this Timbersaw pick, he plays off of the fact that the early entry to the game from Gambit yep. is so hard, they're locked into items, not levels. So yep. Timbersaw offsets that, Sven goes jungle. I love this last pick, and yeah. it is enough to put the balance into win strike. Well, Life Sealer, so there's at least that, but I do want to see him maybe make moves pretty soon. Like, I, Cheshire Cat is perfectly fine up yeah. here, so I do think Yamich can open up the map, look to make plays bottom, even in mid. Suneko. Steps up way too far. Yeah, good little uh, boost here for Dracho to start things off first. Blood on the Sven. He's having the, the slow of the times in terms of course mm -hmm. picking up farm in this landing stage. Mid lane. Oh, well, Afterlife. 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 He's, he's got to get out of here, but the cookie's in. Inkswell's done. Buys him Ooh. some time. Pops the south. Will stop him from going down. But he, the, he may still die anyway. They're hunting in the trees. Ooh. Afterlife. One. He's gone. Two. So not only a salve uh, being put to waste. Love this. Look at Yamich's movement. The Tantar just TP'd down bottom. So if they kill him again, he's screwed. And they're going to go for it right away. Cooking in. Bringing in extra TPs as well. But Yamich is here. They've got afterlife. There's no escape. Great move. No one trying to play with the counter. They're coming in with the jump over towards Duraccio. Duraccio. He's out to the Rain side. He, it's going to save him. Duraccio is out. No one trying to get into to rectify. They're going to start working on them. They actually have to start swinging over this IO and the Void Spirit to stop this. 4v4, let's go. No one. He's going to try and jump in to start the fight. We'll be able to dodge the stun. No one's courage is going to get taken out. They've got him in the Vortex, into the Cookie. No one's still with an Astral Step at the ready. Jumps back over towards Pantomab. They're in with the Inkswell stun onto the two of them. Follow up. Who stomp? They've caught the Sven. They've caught and the Rebel. Storm. Rebel. He's got a little bit more mana to play with. But they're running him down. No one's going to have an ability up in a second. As indeed, Rebel cannot get out. As they may have got in and... Don't let them get any type of map advantage. Ten minutes hits. Oh, and they're in. Go on. I mean, he's getting a lot of action here on the Void Spirit. Finds the setup onto Yamich. But with the Phantom's embrace, keeping him completely silenced. It's not a chance. Rebel's coming in with a haste rune. Wants to try and find Suneko in return. He gets the silence out, but Bugs taken away. And Suneko will still be found. Is Rebel able to get something in return here? Both mid starting he to get back. some kills. Yep, four. Looks like it will be. I'm uh, going to try to the reload as well. Have they got enough damage? Yeah, we were Dream coming in as well. They will. They need to, nice to commit hit, a the lot. relocate spotted. Yep. Pantomim sees it. Can they do it on the way back? Rebel. He's in position. Dream's going to come back over, but the IO very dead. Can they get Dream as well? They've got the punch up. Rage comes to an end. Dream's into the creep, though, and the backup's here. No one. Jumps in with the Astral Step. They're able to soul bind the two of them together as Pantomim. And nice Jamich play. will be punished. As ASM Gambit, they can swing over in time to make sure that, you know, that they punish... Halberd. I think I'd like Halberd. Maelstrom this game, and then he can go for something like Scotty. I think Scotty's still really effective versus Timbersaw and Sven, because you know that they're going to get BKB on Sven eventually, Timber's health reduction, and just the chase overall. I think that could be a really nice if Dream's able to get it. Chester Cat, really diving forward here. I mean, they're diving in deep here, and they'll be able to burst afterlife. No struggles there with the setup of Rail Ball heading in from the side. Now, oh, she can, and that's all that's needed really to Pantomim. stop them pushing. They get the setup on top though. The, 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 the rush is around. And he's been left behind. 
I mean, that'll, that'll do there for SM Gambit. Getting Dracha or the rest of Windstrike have retreated. They're on the reload, so Immersion, he will just go down. But a nice play I'm there from ASM fan. Gambit, just chilling. They were just so patient from Afterlife to get the get some extra information. There's already ahead of him, so that means he's going to have this one up of an item. If this Life is actually, I, I like this actually, the Bastion with the SNY is also a good one. They're going to try and see if they can burst Cheshire Cat, but back backup's in, they're coming from the side with the Snowball straight down on towards Snaeko. Snaeko falls, Yamage getting turned upon here by Dream. Dream's got the damage, they take down Yamage in return. They're going to try and chase for more. Rail Ball's low on mana. As Dracho comes in, to try and focus the IO, but they're controlling him with the Yule Scepter. He's trying to turn a fight into Dream with the God Strength, but he just doesn't do enough damage. And now he the can't. Revenant pulls out. Dracho, he's going to get burst down. Uh oh. As Dracho falls yet again, Dream's game continuing to get propelled so far ahead of that of the Svens. And they're going to continue to chase here. Panto, he's out to the side. He's going to try for the TP up, but the damage is there. Dream takes down another. As the distance between him and on oh, Windstrike's other two cores, you know, the Storm and Timber to, to really pop off in the fight. As they, they've got some carrying to do here whilst they buy time for the Sven Dracho to, to get in a place where he's going to be able to, to, to turn up and, and clean up in these fights. Over the river. They've got enough burst. They, they do. They're able to make the jump, lock him down. No one will fall. And they're going to get even another surprise. They're going to get the relocate kill too. A big hit from Windstrike. No one. Getting caught off guard, but I don't think he's expecting the consistency of Chainstone coming out from Windstrike. That was really nicely done with the cookie. Just perfect. Timber if they're trying to break away. Even takes the health talent on the life sealer too, so look at his durability. 20 armor, 2400 HP with the healing no sustain is they're in. They're going to try and start off the action. They get the jump in onto Yamich. Yamich is trying to take that fancy embrace off. The little shred of being used to get those extra hits in to remove the silence. See Dream. He's going to come in and on the back lines. Dream, he needs help. He's going to get it. Immersion's in with the tether. Turns gets the bash off now, going over Dracho. towards them. They've got the soul bind locking down the two of them. Dracho's going to go down. Jump over from Afterlife. He finds the Who's Stopping connection onto the Timber Sword. Cheshire Cat trying bash. to chain away, but the bash is in. A dream, the rest of them, they're looking for the other kills. They want to try and ignore the Timber Sword, take down the easier targets. Dream's charging down Panto Man with the Ink Swirl. They'll be able to close the gap, get the stun off. Panto gets taken out. Yamage, he'll be the next target here if Dream can find him. He's got a blink. He's going to be able to, Should be, all right. to be fine. Either one. Oh, they're, 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 they're holding strong in the pit. What can Windstrike do to try and push them away? They know they're in there. Maybe look for a steal with Rail Ball if he times it right. In fact, no one. He's actually going to start the action first. They make the jump with the Astro Step. Look at the back lines. He gets the silence out with the Pulse. They're focusing Yamich. I see the zip in from Rail Ball on the back line stream. He's been able to find his way over towards Dracho. As they control him with the Yules, the rest of Windstrike trying to swing around to help out Dracho. Throw out the stun onto no one. Yules control onto Dream, but they can keep on pushing on. They'll take down Sven yet again. It's a great kisses. kisses from the side here from Pantomem. Actually enough to set up to get the four of them as Pantomem may have just saved the oh. fight. He absolutely has. They get the cleanup. Triple kill for Cheshire Cat as Panto perfect position they couldn't get anyone on top of him put them straight in the lead now yeah i mean winning a fight pre bkbs versus all of gambit's timings was absolutely instrumental for them i mean they're, they're just gonna push to, high to the high ground yeah, what, what do you do how do you stop this they're gonna try after I'm immediately nice getting silenced those he jumps in he has the Lotus off. Uh, see, uh, Dream tries to jump in with the heels to help out. That fire off does get put to a stop as no one's able to jump to the back lines with the silence. Rebel committing with BKB onto Suneko. Suneko is going to be fine, but no one will They get the control onto the voice bridge. Dream getting healed up by Immersion, but does he actually have the damage? The Ink Swirl Stone will go off onto the three of them. They're focusing the Sven. They are able to take him out. Dracio goes down. Yamich is running with the spider legs, but he won't be able to escape. He also falls. Cheshire Cat's Whoa. able to get in and cut down Afterlife. See if they can bring down Cheshire Cat. Silence in place. And Rebel, he's jumping back in on the back lines. He's been able to get in over towards the IO. They turn the silence. Rebel's actually going to end up dying for that attempt. Panto as well will fall. A triple kill for Dream. Get up to the high ground. Oh! Ooh. The Halberd, it saves him. And well, it will. I mean, that was very, very close there. Damage. He's going to be able to catch the Snaco here on the way out. And with the snowball, they're chasing in. They've got a stampede from the Remnant as well. Actually, does hold back Duraccio. Shards are going to miss. They're, 
They're controlling him. Afterlife, no one. They're going to jump back over towards him, but the cookie's in. Over towards Afterlife. BKB's out. They're committing onto the sensor. They'll take him down. Afterlife falls. So Dracho can get more here with the BKB. God strength. He's looking to immersion, immersion. Controlled by the snowball. They hit for two. Raoul's ready to dive in for the back lines. Catches Taneko here on the retreat. Glimmer Cape. Is it going to save him from the soul burn damage? It won't. Dust is out. Cheshire Cat gets the kill. Right back the other way. Rebel, very low on mana, but a great chase forward, just getting all these kills. Afterlife, trying to, they're trying to save Seneco there, and they actually get themselves triple. Three heroes dead because of it, just Stampede trying to bail him out. And back straight up the top, Duraccio. We'll be able to claim it. Yeah, this time around, SM Gambit, they won't have the defense to push back. As they might not, they might get more than just the one set. The mid lane also getting pushed in by Windstrike. Dream, what's the, what's the move? He's going to start cutting creep waves, but they've already got a couple coming in, so Windstrike, they're not going anywhere. Well, this is two push on. The flamethrower back up in two seconds. They will go with Rebel. Whoopsie. Oh, he, he was a little scared. The Afterlife's actually able to get in and get the stun onto the two of them. Snowball and Cookie out of the side. They're trying to get out now. Cheshire Cat and Yamat still on the front lines. They'll come in over towards the center. No one jumps across with the Astral Stamp. He's got the damage to take down Yamat. Yamat falls. So they can get the rest the out chase. there. Dream's chasing. Gonna go for the TP. Anything to cancel it? There isn't. Afterlife scouting things up from the high ground. Oh, Afterlife giving likes. some good information, Dream. He's gonna get halberded. You see the jump for the back lines. Rebel's gone for Snakeo. Snakeo's able to pop the charge. He's out, actually. The Stampede's pop. Rebel's now. The, he's got the one that's got to be careful. The BKB's pop. But they're linked together by the Soulbind. They're in onto the, the Storm Spirit. Phantom is very silent. Comes in. in as well. Followed up by the Pulse Dream. He's on top of the Sven. Dracho. He's in trouble. They'll get back in. They'll take him down. Dream gets the one. He gets the two. He's over towards the Storm as well. Rebel goes down. Now they're looking for Cheshire Cat. And he's been left behind. Everybody else is dead. The Bloodstone heal buys him time. But the chase is there. No one closes the gap with the Astral Step. They've got multiple silences to lock him down. The bash is out. Cheshire Cat still living, but the remnant placed perfectly, almost predicting the angle he's trying Timber Chain out at. As this time, it's ASM. And Rebel's going to try. He's found Seneco. Coming with the tether. Seneco's going to be healed up and he's going to be saved. They get the Lotus. They've got the controls. One that's fed into the Hoostom. They make the jump over towards Dracho. Dracho is able to get the BKB off the leash. It's just ruining this Storm's game. Relpul has to zip out to safety. And Mercy getting healed up here by the Infest. They're trying to keep their eye alive, but the eye will still fall. Dream. Yours up for now. Afterlife moving in position. Looking for the stun control. Yamich is going to get bounced to the side by the cookie. Dream. And no one. They're chasing down Dracho. They're going to be able to buy him a bit of time here with the invis, but the sentries drop down by Seneco. They'll continue to push on Rebel. Rebel. He's caught by the remnant. Rebel's going to go down. They've lost the storm. Dream's ready to turn over towards Yamich and Pantomam. Panto will buy time for himself with the Ghost Scepter. No buyback available on Rebel, though. He cannot get back in the fight. Panto's going to try for the TP out, but they've got the stuns to stop it. Another kill for ASM Gambit. There's now a, second, a, a good bit of window. 60 seconds, no storm. And the second fight, the remnant and ends up getting killed from the chain stun. Oh, they're struggling massively in these last few fights. Railbolt just getting completely controlled, even through the BKB. And now Dream's mm -hmm. up to the high ground. And they still have Dreams that Aegis. How do you stop this lifestealer? Just taunting in front of them. All the buffs, overcharge plus Solar Crest with the mech and the Holy Locket behind him. Even a Paladin Sword on the IO to boot for even more healing. They just can't get in on him. He's taking no. down the Red Tail. Have Rubble up in a few seconds. We'll see if that changes much. But the last few fights, it hasn't. They're, they're in. Tr they're trying to get on the back line as again. They're looking for Immersion. Jump in with the Silence. Rubble with a big zip. He's able to get the pull back onto the eye. Can they burst through Immersion in time? Immersion getting low, but no, he's fine. Not Immersion's even. able to step out of the side. Rubble's got to back off. Again, he's committed with the BKB, but he has to use it to get Ooh. away. Dracho jumps in. Will manage to take down Immersion, but now he's committed. Dream, no one. They're looking to continue to keep the Silence. No one's up to the high ground. Stops the, 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 the ultimate here from Snapfire, but they lost Duraccio. Sven goes down. No one, Dream, there's still full HP. Rebel's gonna jump back That's in, but dream. he's gotta be so careful. There's no BKB available on Rebel anymore. It's still on cooldown. They'll lose damage. Rebel cannot fight into this any longer. Dur Duraccio commits. So he does get the kill on the IO, but he jumped in, no BKB, nothing else, just the Godring. He two shots the IO, to be fair, does finish him off. But now he's dead for such a long time. And oh, Suneko finds himself in that double bounty. Oh, Rebel. Rebel. Big aggressive zip here onto no one. He does not do enough damage though. And his oh, BKB no. is still on cooldown. He's dead. 
Uh oh. I mean, that's push in. Rebels up in a few seconds. Aegis getting reclaimed in one second. Okay. No up. That's going to start things on a Cheshire Cat. They also get the control under Dratch at the side. Cheshire Cat Emergent. starting to back off. Sentinel's going to be focused first. They bring down the Sentinel with no struggles. Rebel is released again. He can't get out. Rebel goes down. Dead for 80. A tip's coming out as well from Seneco. He knows that these soul binds are just ruining the Storm's game. Dream's pushing in. Dracho, he's put the cost trick, but he's got to run, and he can't. The bash is there. Dracho goes down. Both calls out of the game. No buybacks for Windstrike. As they're getting forced right back towards the fountain. Dream's charging in, setting up for the Inks well stand Onto the two of them. Yamich and Cheshire Cat fall. Damn. So, they're buying Dream's back. popping off. I mean, you, you said he had to play without the mistakes of game one to take this one away, and he certainly has no mistakes to be had here from Dream. As he's played it perfectly. As they're fighting Inks right up again. towards the fountain. They know they know there's nothing that Winstrike can do to turn this around with their two main cores dead without any measure of getting back into the action. As five heroes dead, no buybacks. The leashes. My God, that last one, Cheshire Cat walked in to try to bail Rebel out, and it actually just got him leashed and killed. So a couple of these leashes just absolutely instrumental mm, really to the win it. here from Gambit. But Dream, what a performance on the Lifestealer. Actually ends up yeah. going perfectly. Satan, his build actually ends up being excellent, and no one being really disruptive, except for that like one or two fights that they had around Ancients. No one does a great job of just being so annoying. He just jumps on three or four heroes, keeps silent.